Yo, what's going on guys? Jason here, back to you again with another mother loving vlog. Uh, I know it's been a while since we've uh, uploaded here, guys, so I do apologize. It's just like I said, we've all been busy, we've all been on vacation type deal, uh, so we got all that stuff going on. Uh, it, it is nighttime, it's like around 6.37 right now, and I get a call from Hubert saying he needs help with his car. Um, so basically what's been going on is his girl's car just blew a head gasket. Uh, so we're taking we're in the process of getting the head off of that um, And then he, he calls me like 10 minutes ago saying he's like hey, dude. I just broke my axle Thank God I was in my apartment complex. So we're, we got an axle tonight, and then we got to remove a head tonight uh, So I just wanted to bring you guys along with me uh, Like I said, it's probably gonna be a short video because like I said nothing nothing cool is going on I just want to make sure you guys know that we're alive and we're still here and we still doing doing some content here um, Yeah guys stay tuned on my, on my way there Alright guys, just arrived to Hubert's. The clips is somewhere that way. We have to go get it. He might be able to drive it over here and then... Oh, just an FYI, Hubert moved in the same apartment complex. But yeah, he lives in a different spot now, so... Dude, I thought, I, I, I thought I'd bring out the camera. It's fine, man. It's a great day to be a Polak, huh? Oh, it's absolutely, absolutely. fucking right, let's go get this turn. Pushing the fucking turd, guys. <laughs> hey, turn the wheel. Hey, this thing is super light, though, so that's... <sighs> There's the other garage. What the fuck? Oh, shit. What? That's my... <laughs> the whole fucking... What? It's just hanging. No! Yeah. No! Look at that. Oh look! What are the bearings? That's crazy, that thing is literally snapped in half and he was just like, in the neighborhood type <laughs> But, uh, so yeah, there's that turd. We'll, we'll deal with that later. I'm gonna go see the progress over here. Ooh, okay. So I was telling you guys about, so this is a thermostat housing, so this actually blew up while she was driving, right? Well, the thermostat completely gave out. So the thermostat completely gave out. As a result, I had a coolant pipe over here blow up. Which I so I replaced both those items. Yeah. And I noticed there still wasn't heat. I'm like head gasket because we started smelling fuel. Yeah. So, reservoir. Yeah. So Hubert went ahead, replaced everything, and we're just like, dude, let's let's fucking start it. And surely enough, we put coolant in it. Uh, we put oil in it, and fucking, it starts smelling like gas out of the we we're out of the coolant reservoir when we were trying to heat it up. So all right, we're gonna have some fun. Okay, so now it's time to we got the slack. On the timing chain, the timing we took chain. the uh, the bolts out of the uh, the cams, uh, the little cam phasers, whatever yeah. you want to call them. So now the actual cam. You can literally take it, take them off, and then the, um, the chain correct. comes off. But then... next step, according to the service manual, is... <laughs> the service manual. Yeah. Hey, man, YouTube. That's, that's what said. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, but we need those uh, six point or like they're inverse in, torques or whatever. Inverse, yeah, inverse torque bits. Yeah. That we need to get, and I don't have the right size yeah um, they're supposed to be like e12 yeah we have we were gonna put a 12.10 a millimeter on it but we we're kind of scared because the guy said that they're they're really tight they're really fucking tight dude language man this is supposed to be a family friendly channel you want my mother to support us or not man <sighs> again once again I am sorry <laughs> I apologize all right dude I think I need a modelo that's you should we do it now or after Let's go 
He read my motherfucking mind. Do you want to tell him? Oh, well, yeah, he already posted it. Yeah, no, Hubert got his bike stolen literally from right here. And it was locked up. And it was locked up. Oh, actually, hold on, I'll show you. Oh, yeah, show me the tumbler, dude. Yeah, the tumbler was literally on the ground, guys. This is what's left of my bike. I'm gonna make a necklace out of it. <laughs> All right, we'll put your jacket aside. Yeah. Yeah, you can't leave shit out anymore because you get it stolen. And I thought this was a safe neighborhood. Yeah, dude. I live with where. We, he lives in the hood. I live in the hood, and none of my sh my stuff has ever been stolen. Because they know they're gonna shoot you there. You steal somebody's shit, yep. they're gonna shoot you. But now we have to hide stuff here. Hurricane. White person killed Louisville. Move to Fort Worth, guys. It'll be cheaper. I'm going straight to the hood. Got the goods. <laughs> Got the goods. Oh, by the way, guys, this is Hubert's new apartment. You guys want to see some chi cheese? <laughs> Free the nipple, guys. Free the nipple. <laughs> we got Mew Mews. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> Fucking goals, man. What do I got to do to get something like this, dude? Go to church. Dude, I've been going, bro. I've been going. Listen, dude. Have faith in the Lord, okay? I, I do. Do you have faith in the Lord? I mean, maybe you would help me out with these cars. I'm know. telling you. Oh, okay, guys. And then this is Hubert's room. Very ladylike. <laughs> and this is the the bathroom. We just got back to the headquarters. Had to get the essentials, you know. And we got these uh, focus. There we External go. External torque socket set. Very nice. All right, guys. We just got the the head bolts out. Um, we're just. Choo -choo. So they're completely out and we're doing this the right way and we're following a YouTube video. I don't know if that's the right way because we're following a YouTube video filming a YouTube video. It's just a huge chain of misinformation to be honest. That's all we know. <laughs> you get what I mean? Yeah. You know if this dipshit's doing it the right way or not. Yeah, but this head, this head gasket was definitely blown guys because these you can see that they're all kind of charred up and then these two these two pistons they're, they're like i wish i can get the camera in there so you could see but they're all they're both clean so yeah these are all like gunked up and stuff and carbonized and then like i said these are these two are clean so yeah head gasket definitely went on this bad boy so gotta do that one of the, one of these things and yes i'm wearing gloves guys for once he is too. We never wear gloves ever. This is the first time for everything. We're trying to trash up our hands more than we already trashed. Taking the exhaust manifold <laughs> off, so it was like four bolts right here. I can't see it. So oh, it's come on. Oh, there's a light. Right here, right here, right here. So yeah, it's like f four exhaust manifold bolts, and then like we start like kind of like playing with it, and surely enough, there's more bolts. There's there. more bolts on the underside. There's one right here, and then there's another one over here. Yep, all the way through. So, Thanks a lot, engineering. So we're gonna have to take the turbo off in order to take this one off, yeah. or I don't know. We're, we'll see if we can get something in there. Uh, maybe we might be able to get something on the underside. But this one we might be able to take out. Um, this one we might be able to get an extension in there, and then the other Let's one. See. No, bro. Let me see. Dude, literally touch this to this, and it's literally hitting the wall. Let's wait. Ridiculous, That's dude. ridiculous, dude. What do you have to say to Chevy engineers? Don't buy a Chevy, man. You know what that means? Drink, drink more beer. Cheers to Chevy engineering. <sighs> All right, guys, stay tuned. <laughs> we had to take a quick break. Shout out to the first lady making us tacos. Damn, she put espollo. With some uh, tomate, some green pepper. Oh, you filled them all? Is that zanahoria? No. Tomato, oh. ch chila, tomate, cebolla. Damn, dude, look. Look, and she did all the cool stuff over here. <laughs> dude, full course meal right here. All right, you ready, dude? Yes. All right, let's go. Thank you, babe, again. All right, making progress, guys. Um, 
Damn, I look like a weirdo. Dude, we, all, we look like crap, bro. It's, <laughs> we it's like, 11 o'clock at night. We look like crackheads, yeah. 11 o'clock at night after several tacos, some cheeseburgers, yeah. some Modelo's. Um, Will finally got, let me flip this around. Exhaust manifold is finally yeah. off, guys. Exhaust manifold's off. Uh, we didn't really have to remove the turbo or anything. Just had to um, un un enough. unbolt a couple V bands and some oil and coolant lines. That way we can just get it. Uh, we just had to. Well, we just had to get it far enough off the head. Yeah. See, so guys. So off the studs. So they're off now. Um, see what's up. But uh, other than that, dude, she's ready to come Man. out. Nice job. All right. Oh my god, dude, what a mess! I just feel like there's something else holding it on. No, that's it. Pull, just pull. <clears throat> and she's off! Ah. Oh, f something. Look at that! <laughs> yeah. Isn't that lovely, dude? It's probably. Dude, that is hilarious, bro. There's literally coolant in this in these cylinders, guys. <laughs> That's insane, bro. This is the fifteen dollar piece right here, guys. Backside. I'm in the backside. All right, guys, we're wrapping things up. Just got the head off. Um, obviously, there's coolant in both both cylinders here. Um, so yeah, we're, we're gonna just make sure that obviously everything is straight, nothing is nothing is warped. Uh, we want to get this thing checked out. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, he, well, he's gonna look up some videos, see what he can do to check it out himself. If not, he'll just take it to a what do they call them? Machine shop. Machine shop. See if they can, because it's not much. I tried checking it with the level, but you know that's not. It's a plastic. It's level. plastic one. It's not a legit straight edge, and then. Uh, we'd have to get bust out the feeler gauges just to make sure. So he's going to do that tomorrow with time. We just, Like I said, we just wanted to get the head out today. But uh, we just wanted to wrap it up. We're still alive. Um, dude, I kind of want to tell him about what's going to happen in March. Uh, no, nah, tell him because we, we got some things coming. And uh, uh, I mean, I think it's important to mention uh, we've been away for like the last month or so because we've all just been very, yeah. very busy. Yeah, and I mentioned that too. With, uh, when I like when I was at my house, I was like, you know what? I'm going to record today. Fuck it, yeah. whatever. I mean, obviously this isn't like the contact that you guys would like, but you know, it's just us fooling around the garage because like this is honestly what we do. Like, yeah, we like our race cars and stuff like that, but we're we more... Have, unfortunately, we have some priorities. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this, is, uh, this is a priority. <laughs> I mean, I know you've been doing... A lot of side jobs. I've been doing side yeah. jobs. We've been trying to make extra money to make ends meet. So, uh, yeah. And uh, just, we all had a lot of stuff going on. So, we'll be getting back to the race cars. Surely enough. Yeah. So, should I tell it to you? Should I tell you guys? Do you guys want to know? What do you think? Or no? Uh, yeah, man. I think, I think, uh, I think it'll be something cool. Uh, Alright guys, fine. I'm going to tell you. Um, so... Me and Hubert went out to the dealership uh, a few weeks back, and uh, I ordered a truck. And I'm gonna try to make it into like a nice little race truck, or at least looking, because it's gonna be a brand new truck. So there's not a lot of stuff out for it, and there's Whipples out for it, but that's like eight grand, and I don't think I can afford that right now, especially because I'm trying to, you know, have my priorities straight. But no, I, uh, I ended up ordering a 2022 uh, F-150 um, Coyote with a locker in the back, uh, single cab. Um, so I'm actually really excited for that thing. Uh, it's gonna be my first new vehicle. I've never had a new vehicle in my life. So I got a lot of plans. I already have everything, like a list of things and things I'm gonna buy for it as soon as I get it. Um, I'm actually gonna buy things because like a lot of stuff is kind of like on back order for it. So I'm gonna order things like a few weeks before it actually comes out. So like I get updates and stuff like that from the truck. Uh, like when like I'm scheduled for production uh, the last week of February. Um, so I should be getting the truck somewhere around mid March. So I'll probably start ordering parts for it like early March. So um, I'm super excited for it. Hubert's super excited for it. We got some like really good ideas of what we're gonna be doing um, to the truck and then like for events and stuff like that. So we're really excited. Um, but yeah, stay tuned guys. Thank you guys for watching. All 
166 subscribers or something like that. No, 169. <laughs> All 169 of you guys. Thank you guys for, you know, staying with us here. So we're alive, we're alive and well. Like I said, we've just been busy doing this type of crap. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications button, and we'll see you in the next video. Deuces. Deuces. Peter Boy is out.